Hey everyone, I'm Amanda Massey and welcome to my YouTube channel, Massey Styles. today's episode, the episode's gonna be about Opal and how sweet and adorable she is and how much joy you bring into my life. I love it when she comes and makes an appearance. Today, I wanna talk to you about the power of accessories and how to take a simple outfit like jeans and a t-shirt and elevate it with the accessories that you pair with it. And then for the skincare portion of today's episode, I wanna share with you products that I use in the morning and at night on a daily basis. But first, as always, let's talk about my outfit of the day. These shoes are by Marc Jacobs. They are just like everything and more that I've ever wanted in a shoe. They're just an amazing platform and really edge up any outfit that you wear. For example, this is a very feminine skirt and a top. I got it at a small boutique in Laguna. I was in Laguna yesterday doing a pool for a client and figured I drove an hour and a half. I should probably hang out for a little bit. So I did and I walked around to the local shops and I just saw this really cute set and I decided to buy it, figure I'd wear it today. And these shoes really give it like a good edge to it instead of it being like ultra feminine. Okay, so let's get right into it. Jeans and a t-shirt, we all have it, we all wear it, we all need to do more with it. So I'm gonna pair some accessories with this and so you can see how you can really transform this simple outfit. Okay, so I added the accessories to these two outfits just to kind of have everything really streamlined, but there's so many ways that you can accessorize a white t-shirt and jeans. For the bodysuit, I paired it with the straight leg light wash denim, and I would imagine this outfit being worn for lunch, like with your girlfriends. So I started off with this necklace. I really like how there's multicolored gems in between the silver ball. Then what I really like too is this bracelet and these earrings, they're mixing metals and normally I don't mix silver and gold. It's like one or the other. But on the rare occasion that there is an item of jewelry that mixes both metals, I really like to capitalize on that and really bring that out in the whole outfit. So these earrings, they're hoop earrings. The hoop is silver, the ball on it is gold. And then with this bracelet, it's like a twisting of both of the metals. And what I also like to, to really hone in on the synergy of these accessories with the bodysuit is the silver ball is getting translated too throughout the earrings with the gold ball that's on it. So there's a lot of connection that's here. And then these rings that I have on my left hand, they're just really simple rings. There's nothing flashy about them at all. I even have one like in the middle of my finger, it's called a midi ring. And it's just a really cute trend. You know, don't invest in a midi ring because they get lost all the time. But this is the accessories that I would pair with this bodysuit for like a nice lunch. So it's elevated, it's interesting, it's really trendy, it really just, takes this simple outfit and adds some, you know, don't invest in a mini ring because they get lost all the time. Yeah, okay, whoop, slippery little suckers. So these accessories, this set of accessories really elevates the bodysuit and the jeans to add some more personality to it. And so you just have a really interesting outfit instead of just, oh, a white t-shirt and jeans. For this jeans and a t-shirt, the accessories that I paired with it were some oversized hoops that have really large blue and green gemstones in them. I just think they're so cool and over the top and it really brings out a lot of personality in this very simple outfit. For the necklace, I opted for something that is clear because I wanted there to be an element of interest on your neckline, but have it not compete with the hoop. So the necklace kind of falls back being clear. It brings a lot of light to your face by adding an accessory to your neckline. Something a little bit different that maybe you haven't seen in about 23 years is a butterfly armband. I think they're so cute. I'm all for bringing them back. They go all the way up here on your bicep 
And because this is a distressed denim, I thought it'd be nice to add this little wink of the early 2000s, adding this armband to the outfit. Again, I feel like this is more of a daytime, maybe early drinks type of outfit because of the oversized hoops. Okay, so that wraps up how I accessorize these really simple outfits to just bring a lot of boldness and personality and a lot of interest to a really simple outfit. And now let's move on to skincare where I can share with you my favorite products that I use on a daily basis. So every morning and every night I take the same things and I am really regimented about it. Honestly, you're not going to see any results in anything that you take unless you take it every single day for at least three months. That's when you start to see a change happen. So on my kitchen counter, I have these items sitting. So every single morning on an empty stomach is when I eat all these things but they're all liquids. So like I'll add into a matcha or a coffee or like a hot water with lemon, but let me go through them. I'm getting ahead of myself. So apple cider vinegar, it's just good for you all around. It really focuses on your digestion. This particular brand I purchased at a farmer's market. It's small batches, a local farmer. It's a really slow process of fermentation and they also leave what's called the mother in this apple cider vinegar. The mother part of it just means it's less filtered. So there's more of the nutrients that are naturally found in apple cider vinegar. They don't remove it. It has a little bit more of a tangy, harsher taste to it. So just kind of brace yourself for that. But overall, you'll get more health benefits by including the mother in the apple cider vinegar. So I take this every morning, just a teaspoon of it. This is collagen. I purchased it at Whole Foods. There are so many different collagen brands out there. So really do your research and look at the back of the bottle for the ingredients. You only wanna see collagen, not collagen water, not collagen vinegar, collagen, that's it. Collagen has a really bitter taste to it naturally. So this includes a coconut flavoring, which I really like to add to my lattes in the morning. So I get like a vanilla coconut latte, kind of nice. This is raw honey. Raw honey and pure honey are different. There are more health benefits in raw honey than there is in pure honey. Essentially the difference is similar to the apple cider vinegar where it's just less filtered so that you include the natural ingredients and not really stripping them of it. What's nice about pure honey is that it boosts your immune system and it also calms any inflammation that you have internally. So I add the pure honey and the collagen in my latte or my matcha latte if I'm being healthy that day. Matcha latte, it's not that it's not more healthy than coffee but just overall it's just kind of better for you it doesn't dehydrate you it has more antioxidants in it it doesn't give you that spike and then that crash like coffee does so that's why i said healthy and then i kind of mix up like what i call like special water and so i'll add this lion's mane to my water with lemon and then i will also add dandelion lion's mane what is it it's a mushroom i mean basically just makes you happy my job is very stressful. I'm a very high energy person. My emotions internally are like very up and down, but on the outside, I'm pretty flat lined. I have like a lot of managers come up to me being like, oh my God, you're so calm. Why are you so calm? And I'm like, I don't know. I hide my emotions well. Thanks to Lion's Mane. I don't think that's the only attribute to why I control my emotions, but I do feel more at ease throughout the day when I do include Lion's Mane. And because I use it every single day, it's just a natural progression of benefits that you're going to feel over long-term use. For a dandelion, this is something that's a little bit new to me. Sometimes, well, every woman does. Every woman retains water and dandelion helps you, you know, remove that water and not be so bloated. So I'm really experimenting with dandelion. It's only month one. I'll let you know maybe in a couple of months how I'm doing, but dandelion has no taste to it. So you just add it to water, drink it, you know, see if it helps you lose that water retention. The last thing that I use is called moon juice. I've been using spirit dust for a really long time. It is a mix of a bunch of different mushrooms. It's mainly like ashwagandha, more lion's mane. It says red rooted sage. It's just all these really, really good mushrooms in this container. 
this really helps to elevate my mood if I'm feeling sluggish in the morning. So my latte has a lot in it every single morning. It's the moon juice and the honey and collagen and lion's mane and dandelion. So if you would have bought this in a store, this latte would probably be like a $30 latte. <laughs> it's really intense. But I use this every morning and the main health benefits for all of this is digestion and to reduce inflammation. So now I'm going to share with you the products that I use at night. So when you're sleeping, your body repairs itself and restores itself. So with the vitamins that you take, I recommend taking minerals at night so that your body absorbs them and you really get all the nutrients that are in that mineral. A really important mineral to add into your nightly routine is zinc. Zinc is wonderful for acne prone skin, and it's also really great as an immune booster. Studies have shown that people with acne have a zinc deficiency, and so that's why it's important to include zinc into your daily, nightly regimen. I wanna mention that zinc will absolutely make you nauseous. There's no really way around it, it's just the nature of the mineral. So I would suggest starting out with two milligrams, bumping to five, and then increasing very slowly in increments of two. Also, take it right before you fall asleep so that you kind of sleep through the nausea. You're not gonna be so nauseous that you're gonna wake up in the middle of the night and just be like, oh my God, I feel horrible. It's not like that. But if you have a sensitive stomach, I don't know, there's a lot of different factors, but it, it's just gonna make you feel a little bit nauseous, but it's nothing extreme. But do start out with a low dosage right before you fall asleep so you just kind of pass and sleep through the nausea. But zinc, really, really great. I've been using it for about eight to nine years now, and I've seen such a difference in the clarity of my skin because of zinc. So I highly recommend it. Nighttime lip care. I got this lip mask at Trader Joe's. I love Trader Joe's. And it's definitely now my favorite lip mask because it's really, really thick. It's very hydrating. It has like a nice peach flavor to it. And I'm really all about hydration as I sleep. And I feel like my lips have definitely gotten like softer and fuller by using it every night as opposed to like a basic lip balm. Last but not least is a holistic way to get rid of a headache. I think a lot at night and sometimes I get like small little headaches and I don't wanna take Advil or Tylenol that's gonna damage my liver over time. I'm just really wary about headache medication in general. Um, I've read a lot of studies that it just really deteriorates your liver and kidneys over long-term use. So I found a holistic herb store in Encino. It's called Earth and Soul. I talked about it on a previous episode of mine. So make sure you watch that. So it's a really natural way to get rid of headaches. So if I'm starting to feel a headache come on at night or if I wake up wrong side of the bed, I have a little bit of a headache. I put two drops underneath my tongue. I let it sit there for 10 seconds. And then in about 20 minutes, my headache is gone, which is wonderful. And I'm not taking Advil or Tylenol. So these are the three products that I use at night. It's a much shorter routine than my morning ritual. And that wraps up what I use in the morning and at night for my beauty regimen. I hope you got some inspiration on how to mix up a basic white t-shirt and jeans with the accessories that I shared with you today. Let me know if they work for you by commenting below and I'll see you next time.